Welcome to the Altrix Basics video series, Parsing Structured Data, Part 4. In the Parsing Structured Data video series, we focus on a single method of splitting data for each of the tools shown in the Data Flexibility Sample file. We'll use the formula tool to separate the item field into three columns. Let's take a look at the data we'll be working with. For the formula tool, we use the following set of assumptions. The item number is always the first two characters. The color is always the second word. The brand is always the remaining segment. Drag the input data tool from favorites onto the canvas. Go to program files, then the Altrix folder, then samples, sample data. Look for a file called clothing underscore search CSV, highlight it, and click open. From preparation, drag the formula tool onto the canvas. Connect the input data tool to the formula tool. In the first output field box, type item underscore NUM to create a new field and change the type to string. For item number, we want to get the first two characters in the item field. We'll use the left string function. It allows us to specify the number of characters to capture. Go to the functions tab and expand string. Locate the left function and double click it. The syntax appears in the expression box. String is already highlighted. We need to replace string with our variable name, so go back to the Variables tab. Expand Field and double-click Item. Now to specify how many characters to get. In the expression box, replace LEN with the number 2. Next, we want to get the second word in the field Item and put it in its own field. In the second output field box, type color and set the type to string. Again, we'll use a string function, so go back to the functions tab, double click on get word. The syntax is added to the expression box with string highlighted. We need to replace string with our variable name. Item. Go back to the Variable tab and double-click the existing field item. Now we need to specify which word we want to get. The numbering of words is zero-based, where zero is the first word, one is the second word, and so forth. Since color is the second word, we'll enter one. So far, this has been fairly straightforward. Getting the remaining segment is a little more complicated. We are going to add the length of our new field's item number and color plus the two spaces between them. The total tells us where the brand field starts and then we capture all the remaining characters. In the third output field row, type brand and set the type to string. Go to the functions tab and double-click substring. The syntax is added to the expression box. String is highlighted. Go to Variables and double-click on the field item. In the expression box, highlight Start. Go to the Functions tab and double-click Length. The length function is inserted inside the substring with string highlighted. Go back to Variables, expand New Fields, and double-click on Item underscore Num. After the closing parenthesis, type plus. We'll add the length of our two new fields. Go back to Functions and double-click Length again. The string field is highlighted. Go back to Variables, Expand New Fields, and double-click Color. Remember how item number and color were separated by spaces? 
we need to increase our start position by two. Type plus and then two. To get all the text from the start position to the end, delete the comma and len. Now press Ctrl plus R to run the workflow. The data from item has been separated into three fields.